bringing you the latest from Utah State University's Uinta Basin Regional Campus. This is Aggie Update. Now, here's your host, Bob Peterson. Thanks for joining us today on Aggie Update. We're joined uh, this week by uh, current USU student, Catlin Bassett. <laughs> Catlin, it's nice to have you here. Well, thank you, it's nice to be here. Catlin is uh, well known in the community, I know, a, US, a UNA high school student as well. Uh, it's been fun showcasing uh, current USU students, that, just to give the community a chance to get to know some of our students. Catlin is also a uh, ambassador on our student council, so we've got a lot to talk to you about, Catlin. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't know you, though, let's let's talk a little about a little bit about Catlin, your past, and, and what you're doing right now. Talk about your family. I know you recently been you're married to uh, Jeff Bassett, so yes. I, I've already told half your story. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, well, I was born and raised here and uh, graduated from UN High School and did some college classes while I was in high school, but then uh, started back up again about a year after. Uh, yeah, I, going into the education program, I got accepted this fall, last fall, and started the ba that back up on Monday. And so other than that, um, when I'm not reading a textbook, I try to read another book that's fun, <laughs> but so. Sometimes yeah. by the time you're through with the uh, college text, you're ready to go to sleep, right? Yeah. It's been, it's been long <laughs> and a hard study. So you had the opportunity of marrying somebody uh, here locally as well with uh, Jeff Bassett. Uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but did you go, were you down to Snow College for a little while? Didn't you go to Snow? No, I while? did go to BYU-Idaho BYU -Idaho -Idaho. Okay, for, for a year, and I would have gone back, but met Jeff and got married and s decided to do finish my education here which has been great um, there's really good professors and I get to be one well since I'm in the education program there's not very many people in the education program here and so I get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with my professors which is is great I really enjoy that um, so, yeah. You know, we've talked about that with in previous shows with other students, and, and it's funny, because seriously, I don't prep these students to say that, mm -hmm. but you enjoy that uh, small classroom environment with instructors where you can get to know them. And, you know, especially in the educational field, because that's, yeah. it's a hard field to navigate through and to get through all those levels, no matter where you're attending, but, but you get close, you want to get close to your instructors, you want to learn from them, and you have that opportunity. Uh, you've put in some experience time over at the Child Lab in Roosevelt. Yes. Tell me about that experience. Uh, that was two years ago in the fall, and I had Professor Shirlene Law, and she's amazing. I, I, I was the only one in the class and got to work a lot with her and got to know her personally, and I look forward to having classes with her again. So. so the child lab experience is over, and that was mm -hmm. because you're getting uh, you're getting your part of your education in, in the early childhood uh -huh. it's development. It's a, a dual dual major. Yeah. So you'll be eligible to qualify to teach from early childhood all the way up through sixth or eighth uh -huh. grade. Six. Well, depending if I get a math endorsement, then it will be eighth grade. Uh, uh, but I'm not sure about that endorsement yet. I'm doing the e ESL endorsement right now. I can totally so. see you as an educator. <laughs> I think you'll be fantastic, especially well, for our younger children. Thanks. And if I had my choice to go into education, I think I'd choose those younger years, too. But yeah, I, really I, do well. I really enjoy little kids. And I, last semester, I had a practicum that I went into Eagle View and into Ashley Elementary, and I really enjoyed that as well. Talk so. about getting a real good taste of what it's going to be like. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you were under, uh, of course, uh, Mr. Sturmer at uh, Eagle View, and where else were you at? At Ashley at Elementary. Ashley? Okay. And I think that's Principal Massey. Yes, Principal Massey. So. What that does, it gives you good experiences of what are things to come. Yeah. And so knowing that you love it, you're in the right field. I, although I did have some apprehensions in fifth grade because a lot of the students are taller <laughs> or as tall as me, <laughs> but I still enjoyed it. Good, good kids, good kids. Good. So. When we come back, we're going to visit more with uh, Catlin Bassett about her uh, future plans and also about uh, her uh, ambassadorship, if you will, <laughs> at USU Honor Student Council. We'll be right back. At Utah State University, we understand your priorities because we live in the same communities. We realize you don't want to give up what you love to get what you need. That's why we offer over 40 quality degree programs in communities throughout Utah.
Welcome back to Aggie Update. We're here with Catlin Bassett, a current USU student. And uh, earlier we were talking to Catlin about uh, her, her plans for being an elementary education teacher. Yep. And your hopes, I learned off air, is that you want to hopefully stay here in the basin and contribute here. Yeah, I think it's a great place. Um, and I think raising my family would be a great place here. So I'd like I to know stay you, here. You have the full support of uh, both superintendents, all three superintendents, I'm sure, because we like to grow our own, they say. They <laughs> like to keep teachers here who, who are accustomed to the area. Uh, Jeff, what's his plans? I know he's attending a radiology program. Yes, um, he does all of his clinicals at the hospital here. It's an outreach program through Weber. And so uh, he has to travel out to Ogden maybe like three times a semester and once to price. Otherwise, he just does all of his stuff like in workbooks, sometimes online, and then goes out there a couple of times and passes exams off here. So, so it's both, great. So both staying active and, and busy in your educational pursuits. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have mentioned Weber on over the, over the system, <laughs> but that's okay. We'll, we'll understand. <laughs> Our hat's off to Jeff. I know he's, 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 he's doing good things there. Catelyn, you also, you wear a lot of hats as a student, a uh, spouse, and you're working. You're also a member of our student council, and it's a newly created position this past year as being an ambassador. Yes. Kind of explain yeah. to us a little bit about what your duties are and, and the makeup of the council and what you've been involved in. Um, well, what we did at the beginning of the year, we split responsibilities, split activities, and there's about two activities a month that we've been doing. Uh, the last activity I was over was Exercise for Charity in December. Huge success, by the way. It's that great. was. I was really pleased, and the community, great support from the community. And some events that we have coming up, um, we have in February the Love Boat, which I hear is... Big time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, I mean, they're doing something for the Super Bowl, so we have some events that are planned, so hope people come out for those. It's been a lot of fun because we're, we're trying to emulate perhaps activities that a main campus would have in our small, small town sort of way. Mm -hmm. And it also allows us to get involved, like you said, in small town charity where you know what, what we're doing here as a council helps people uh, right here locally too. Yeah, we were in Exercise for Charity, we were, we were able to help 12 children plus the women's shelter. So it was great. Great things at the council. And you know, to get to be a, a member of the student council, could you explain that process? Um, what I did is I filled out an application and then did an interview, and then they picked from that, pr that yeah. process. Yeah. It's been so. fun. It's been exciting to get to know more students. And, yeah. and even as a married person, a few other people on the council are married as well. So it's a Actually, a fun all thing. of us They're are. All married. Great, great. <laughs> yeah. So that's been fun. That's exciting to have. Any upcoming uh, activities after the, the Love Boat? That's a, that's a, that's a very uh, a big activity. And maybe just for a few moments, explain what's going on at Love Boat. Um, well, I, didn't atten I haven't attended yet, but I hear um, it will be in Roosevelt this year. And a lot like a casino night, kind of. Um, I'm not quite sure of all the details, but I hear that it's music, food, fun. Kissing. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> wow, okay. Kissing is, is a. <laughs> we'll, we'll bring him in. Then. <laughs> we'll bring him in by droves then. A blackjack table is about 15 uh, tables long. We have uh, a, mm. all kinds of fun events. No money's exchanged, just raffle <laughs> tickets. But you have a lot of uh, great, uh, I think, prizes to be won by mm. being there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Music, food, so uh, you can't help but have a good time. So, and then that's, you know, you're. you're going towards the end of the school year after that activity, maybe a few others to cap things off. Yeah, um, uh, I can't think off the top of my head what they are, but yeah, a couple more. It's pretty exciting though right here in the Uinta Basin to have a couple activities like that the students can be involved with. So yeah. good things happening and I appreciate you uh, coming in and, and spending a little bit of time with us and telling us about your educational pursuits. No problem, thanks for having me. That's it for Aggie Update. Uh, for today's, uh, you, can, you can go to our website at uinabasin.usu and, and, and revisit this episode as well and find out information about scholarships and other things that, uh, that can help you at USU right here in the Uinta Basin. And I'm going to give Catlin Bassett mm -hmm. the last word. <laughs> I'm Catlin Bassett and I'm proud to be an Aggie. <laughs>